hello everyone how you doing uh, in this video I am going to show you how to uh, enable the remote port to connect to Oracle database from uh, remote client ok so for connecting to the Oracle database 21c express edition in Windows 10 I'll be using two remote client one is SQL developer Oracle SQL developer another is Oracle SQL client ok so before that I'm going to show you the problem we face when we try to connect from uh, remotely uh, we not able to connect okay so there are uh, several steps I'm going to show you the things we have to do in firewall okay so adding rules in the firewall uh, which will make you able to connect to Oracle database through port so the default port we use is 151 so let us connect uh, from here and see whether it is connecting so it will not obviously connect okay so we will also check with the telnet port 192.168 this is the IP address of my oracle host machine sorry 1521 so it will not connect okay and maybe we can also check from the SQL developer an existing connection connecting to the system so I'll just try to connect to the Oracle host so the same is here okay so let us go to the terminal and see say TNS connection timeout occurred okay so here also we have unable to connect to remote host connection timeout and in SQL developer also it's going the same so what I will do I will create a new rule I click on new rule okay you will find it in uh, Windows Defender firewall and with advanced security okay so port next TCP specific local ports I will actually add here three ports 5500 and 5501 5501 is not required but still I'm adding it okay I we only need 1521 5500 5501 next allow the connection only private network next aura TCP port I give it a name you can also give some description finish ok now let us go back to the terminal again connect ok now see trying 192, 168, 29, 234 connected to the specific IP, IP address ok now here also let us again do this now it will connect ok same here just cancel this and again test success ok now what we will do we will go first to the local local machine uh, oracle database host and we will uh, connect to the uh, oracle enterprise manager ok so first let us connect it from the local host so what I will do I will just go here and in the ports I will remove this two and we will see say if it is connecting through the on the local host and if it is not connecting from the remote host uh, remote client ok so I have removed uh, already removed that 5500-5501 uh, from my firewall rule so let us see uh, it is already there whether it is connecting so I can see even if I, uh, I remove the rule from 5500 port from uh, firewall but still it will be connecting from the local host
let us connect so we are now connecting to the uh, enterprise enterprise manager cell okay so now what we will do we will go to the remote host and here it's already there i'll be try to connect this uh let us check once in the local host we have here the enterprise manager you can see okay uh, it is there so it is opening from the local host obviously it it will open because this uh, firewall rule is only for the any remote uh, rem remote machine or remote network okay so now go here sites cannot be reached now what we will do we will again open the firewall or our tcp port go to protocols and ports and add this okay apply okay refresh now we will go to our uh, remote machine okay so now again refresh done we are now able to connect let us open this so the that's how we connect to uh, the uh, from from remote client okay now we will do one thing we will connect from uh, again we disable the let us just disable now we disable it now go let us go to the sql developer okay let it open now first go to the sql client okay now here we will do sql plus i'm using oracle instant client uh acha before that le let me show you one thing that is my tns service name the configuration here okay just a moment instant client tns names dot ora you see i have created one uh, i have a xc linux connection also i have created a xc win where i where i have host i have to give the host name here 192.168.29.234 and uh, you can also uh, put the host name but in you have to add one entry in the uh, slash etc slash host where you have to put the particular server name so i have directly put the ip address and port is 151 and service name is xc okay so it is xc bin let us now connect sql plus system at the rate xc win you know why why it is taking time it will take time because it is not able to access the port okay so let it be here and let us go to our sql dev developer this is oracle sql developer version is 22.2.1.234 okay build this 234.181810 system password host name port okay let us test it tns connect connect timeout occurred okay you got it now what i will do it in this is also same here we will go here and we will enable the rule now let us see success okay see it is success now go to the sql client success okay so this is the problem we face because we are not able to find the port because uh, firewall has blocked it 
you have two options you can even disable your firewall best thing is add your specific rule okay i i also have another made another video of allowing port in port and program in firewall in case of ms sql server okay in case of oracle you don't need to add the uh, oracle service program but in case of ms sql server you need to add it so that's all about this video uh, i hope you like this video if you like it please like the video and share it and do subscribe to my channel so that i can bring you more more useful video which will be helpful to you thank you so much